Hello and welcome to Film Pro Productivity, the podcast which helps film professionals and other creatives to live a more focused, effective and happy life. My name is Carter Ferguson and this is episode 29, 10-Minute Motivation and the MVP. The astute amongst you may have already noticed that I have renamed my planned 5-Minute Motivation series as 10-minute motivation from now on. And the reason for that is I did try to do some five-minute shows, but pulling a 20-minute show, which is my standard kind of length of episode, down to five minutes was just not cutting it. It wasn't good enough. And the reason I'm messing with this at all, by the way, is because I often hear that subscribers are going to listen to the show again to take it all in, or words to that effect. So this special in between episode is trialling a new, shorter, more on-point format of the show. I'll be making up for this, of course, by releasing twice the number of episodes as I go along. So season three, when it launches in September, it'll be near the end of September. I'm kind of aiming for the 29th, uh, will be 24, more or less 10 minute episodes. And I've not abandoned the regular format of the show altogether. You can expect episodes in season four and beyond to be a mix of both short and long formats and even include some interviews. C.S. Lewis said failures, repeated failures, are finger posts on the road to achievement. One fails forward towards success. Henry Ford said that failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. And Thomas A. Edison famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. The Lean Startup by Eric Ries, which I've talked about here before, says that if you cannot fail, you cannot learn. And it's not entirely clear to me yet if I can get this new format to work, so I'm testing the new formats between Season 2 and Season 3 so that I can iron out any issues that are not yet apparent before I go on and record the new 24 Season 3 shows. Testing your product, or in my case, format, before diving headlong into things is what I'm going to go into here today. A few years ago, I was very lucky to get my hands on and own one of the very first 360 degree video cameras uh, that were coming out in the UK and I, I realised very very quickly that not only was the technology amazing but there weren't that many film pros offering it so I immediately made moves to offer it myself professionally. I bought the website name of 360 Film Scotland, had logos designed, had t-shirts and fleeces made up all branded and put it out there that I was available for work. I trained down in London at no small cost, shot loads of freebies to put on the website and push out there that I was available and the work was really cool. And what happened? Nothing. Nobody was interested. Or to put it more directly than that, no one was interested in paying for it. It was a real battle as people just didn't know what it was. There were other problems too, to be honest. YouTube hosted 360 videos at that time but they weren't available yet on Facebook or Vimeo. And another thing, 360 degree videos were a nightmare to make. They were hugely time consuming and the earlier software packages didn't work well with each other. I wasted more money on the full latest version of Premiere and bought special plugins to add logos, etc. And at the end of all, after a huge amount of effort and somewhere along the line, the purchase of a second camera, I actually threw in the towel. Here's the thing though. If I'd taken a few weeks to test the concept before I jumped all in, I would have discovered many of the problems which in the end caused me to abandon it and move back to regular filmmaking, which between you and I, I far prefer. I quoted quite deliberately from the Lean Startup earlier as it details the concept of the MVP within it. Like the other productivity techniques from the business and lifestyle worlds, I believe that the principles behind developing a minimum viable product can be applied directly to the creative and film worlds. A minimum viable product, or MVP, is one with just enough features to satisfy early customers and to provide feedback for future product development. 
Creating an MVP forces you to boil down your concept to the core functions it needs to have to solve a problem simply, elegantly and effectively. It allows you to get back feedback from your customer base, or in my case here, my listener base or audience, and adapt it to improve. Neve Isabel Reed in The Startup points out that minimum and viable are not substitutes for lazy or settled for. It means the simplest that your product can be. Now, this isn't entirely new information, of course, to us. A screenwriter will usually sketch out their storyline or plot before diving into a first draft, and we could consider this outline to be the MVP of their script. A designer will make sketches of various elements of a production before they commit to a presentation of their concepts to a producer or a director. I learned a few things from my experience with 360 Film Scotland. I found the limitations of 360 video and realised that really, I wasn't that fussed with it. It's amazing technology and it has its place for sure, but in the end, it really wasn't for me. The thing is, of course, I could have found all of this out before I committed quite as much time, mental energy and money into it if I'd first just trialled it in principle as a minimum viable product. Your call to action today is, if you're planning something new, why not build yourself a minimum viable version of it first and find out if it'll actually work, if it will have an audience, or if it will even hold your interest. You can add the bells and whistles later. Another thing that I've been trialling today, by the way, is a new mic setup. It's a Rode Procaster going through a Scarlet 2i2 for those of you that are interested. Let me know if you think it's any good. And I would genuinely like to hear feedback from you generally on this shorter format. I am committed to it. I'm hoping I will get better at it. I did record the whole episode once already, listened back to it, and uh, thought it wasn't up to scratch. So I've reworked it and I'm putting it before you once again, my My minimum viable product has has actually had quite a lot of effort put into it and it is fairly cheap to put out a podcast episode as opposed to, I don't know, build a car. So my minimum version of this format of the show has not at least cost me a fortune. It has cost me a hell of a lot of time though, so hopefully you're buying into where it's heading. But I've also struggled in this episode to find a decent quote to end on and I think I finally found one found one. It's from Amy Moran or Amy Morin. Amy Morin. How do you pronounce these names? I need to find a way to... Is, is there, does anyone know of a name pronouncing app that's out there? I'm having real trouble. But anyway, Amy Morin, M-O-R-I-N, said striving for success is healthy, but believing you need to succeed first time around may backfire. Mentally strong people believe failure is part of the process toward a long journey to success. By viewing failure as a temporary setback, they're able to bounce back and move forward with ease. Next week, I'll be talking about the benefits of taking a break from social media. But for now, take control of your own destiny, keep on shooting, and join me next time on Film Pro Productivity. The music that you're listening to right now is Adventures by Ehumitsu. You can view the show notes for this episode on the official website at filmproproductivity.com. You can follow my personal accounts on Twitter and Instagram at fight underscore director or follow the show on Twitter at filmproprodpod or on Facebook at filmproproductivity. Please support the show by subscribing, spreading the word and leaving an awesome review.